scared away. <laughs> scared away the boogeyman. <laughs> so I want to tell you about uh, Zero and Q and OpenStack Grizzly. This is uh, going to give a little brief introduction to what it is, and then pretty much what we've been fixing and improving in the last uh, one to two release cycles. So if you're not familiar with ZeroMQ already, and what we do is we have an ability to replace RabbitMQ as a centralized uh, broker and possible single point of failure with a peer-to-peer -peer mechanism uh, that's powered by ZeroMQ. Uh, and actually a lot of the magic here is if not ZeroMQ itself, but the fact that we're doing this uh, brokerless, or technically as a distributed broker. And that changes your model, uh, your failure model, from something like uh, on the bottom, right, where you have Rabbit, Rabbit and queue, where you can actually lose your message queue and everything that connects to it, uh, to what you have on top, which is actually the abstract model that we have uh, essentially in the code, where you lose a node, um, a, a leaf node at the end, and that's all you lose. You, you can't actually lose all of your nodes uh, or your communication between them. I guess unless you lose your networking, which you lose everything anyway. So, um, so this is just, I, we don't need to get this deep into the architecture, uh, but I put this up here because this kind of shows that there's this receiver process in the middle. Uh, I guess this was a build, yeah, there we go. Um, so that receiver in the middle, that is kind of your distributed uh, broker. That's where your messages come into. So we made some optimizations to that piece and you'll may see that referred to as a proxy. And that's just kind of, so the next following slides make sense. So unfortunately in Folsom, which was the first release that this code was in, we had some pretty severe bugs. Um, <coughs> consumers would crash after receiving 100 messages and they would consume 100% of the CPU. So if you had like a node scheduler or something, uh, it would just fall over in a production environment and it would use all of your CPU uh, of one core anyway. And this wasn't actually our code, this wasn't the ZeroMQ driver in OpenStack, this was really bad eventlet code. So we had to fix eventlet, and so also when we tested this code, it was on eventlet uh, 0916, and late in the Folsom cycle, they actually changed the eventlet version in OpenStack, which had a major regression, which socket closed no longer worked, which is why we deleted all the descriptors and everything fell over. Um, and then it was a really bad design within how the select and the epoll worked in Eventlet <coughs> because ZeroMQ is edge triggered and Eventlet is level triggered and basically this meant that it was, didn't work very well. So we had to fix these problems. Um, so we fixed them and we fixed Eventlet. And the, the driver's not perfect, but it does work now um, in, the, in terms of the Eventlet code. And we're pretty happy with it. I mean, it's definitely in production ready. So, um, ZeroMQ driver itself uh, had bugs. Uh, notifications were broken, and we had a deadlock. Uh, we fixed them. Um, new features: uh, we have uh, multiple hosts on one system for a single topic. So, if you wanted to do something like uh, the sender multi-host type of thing, um, you can do that now. Uh, dynamic registrations for the matchmaker, uh, which helps us support quantum, uh, a turnkey quantum installation, uh, which was possible but not turnkey before. <coughs> uh, that is backed by Redis, but it's pluggable. You can put something else in there. That's a reference implementation. Uh, we have a version wire format, and we had cleanup and simplifications, uh, better code. Uh, we made things even better by making it faster. Uh, we are no longer doing double deserialization and unpacking things on the proxy, on that receiver process. And that <coughs> process also does internal buffering and queuing, which, uh, well, makes it faster yet again, because uh, it's not blocking. Uh, we finally have unit tests that are gating, so you can't actually break the code and push it into the project, because um, that was really, really bad. It broke up very, <laughs> very often before we had that. And in Havana, we're going to do smoke tests so we can test integration with Nova and all these other projects. Uh, so we do have the matchmaker, which is, so you have this consistency problem because we don't have that here because uh, it's distributed. Uh, BitTorrent kind of looks like this. Um, they use a uh, peer tracking system. Um, don't want to run out of time. Um, so we have 
this matchmaker and you have to do scale out. Um, we actually have that with Rabbit and Q as well, with the service group. Um, and so one of our things that we're going to do this cycle is try and merge these two things. They're parallel. Uh, Rabbit and Q and Zero and Q are both using the service group. Zero and Q is using matchmaker and service group. And in Havana, we're going to get rid of one. Uh, not sure which one yet, but we will. And that's it. Um, oh, yeah, pretty much. That's it. Uh, we're hiring. Uh, that's me. Um, I'm a cloud scaling. And thank you very much. Thank you.